This is a vertical single piston extender. This is a vertical double piston extender. And this was a mistake. Yep, that's right, for 100 subs, I've gone back to my roots and I've made yet another one of these big chonkers. Since I've got 100 subs, I decided to make it 100 pistons long, which means every single one of these pistons represents a human. That is a lot of people stacked on top of each other. That probably hurts for the person on the bottom. This is basically my previous design that I showed in my previous piston extender video, but with these extra two blocks on the left here, that basically make it able to push more than 12 pistons. Otherwise, you run into the push limit. Here, I'll show you how it works. When I flick this lever, it starts centipeding up like a centipede. The reason it does this is to make sure there's always less than 12 pistons trying to be pushed. And it takes a very long time to centipede, but once it finally finishes centipeding, it'll have extended by 100 blocks. We're up at the top now. Feels kind of scary up here. I could fall like Ah! Anyway, as we skydive to get back down to the lever, I can also show you how the retraction works. We flick the lever again, and all of the pistons retract, and once it gets back up to the top, then it'll do the retraction thing that I showed off in my previous piston extender video. Watch that if you care to know. Anyway, that looks like this. This is also the part that takes the longest. Quite fun to ride down on, although it does take an absolute eternity. By the way, I placed every single one of these blocks by hand. It's probably the biggest mistake I've ever made. It took far longer than I'd like to admit. Oh, it's done. That took forever. So if you'd like an explanation as to how this thing works, it sends signal to here, and it cuts that signal off, then it goes down after five ticks, sends a signal here, then cuts that signal off, that keeps going all the way down, 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 until you get to the bottom, and at the bottom it just holds it on so it can extend fully. Up at the top, there's another torch to the side here, which goes into a pulse extender to make sure it doesn't misfire. Once the system's turned off, and this torch has been off for long enough, and the pulse extender runs out, then it'll pull this piston back, which sets off the retraction circuit. Watch my previous video if you want to know how that works. So I've shown you this part, pretty simple, and I've shown you this part, also pretty simple, so if you want to replicate this, just follow my previous tutorial, and just copy what you see in the video, because I'm too lazy to make a tutorial for a hundred piston extender. That would be another mistake, and one I'm not willing to make. But anyway, thanks for a hundred subs, I can't believe a hundred actual people decided that they wanted to subscribe to me, but I'll take it. If you're not subscribed already, well, you've been missing out on not much, really. My videos are kind of trash. But subscribe anyway, because it makes fun number go up. Bye.